Hello, I'm Dr. Dankwa from RX Calculations and I want to show you how the NAPLEX Calculations Question Bank can help you master pharmaceutical calculations and prepare for the NAPLEX. So as you go through this, I will basically show you many of the features of the NAPLEX Calculations Question Bank and how you can use this resource in your preparations for the board exams. So let's get started right away. So I have here an account that has currently been opened and there are two ways you could access the questions in the question bank. You could click on the view tab or you could click on the link of your membership. So I'll just go ahead and click on the view tab and when you click on this button um, it's going to open up another page. Now the, you notice that there are several questions that have been populated here the NAPLEX Calculations Question Bank is basically the largest comprehensive um, NAPLEX type calculations question bank that currently exists worldwide. All right, so um, as you go through this, you could have pages upon pages of questions upon questions, and you have over a thousand questions in here. Um, basically, questions for each topic that has been specified in the NAPLEX blueprint. You also notice that there are several different questions, but also several different levels. So you have like a untimed level one, level two, level three, right? And so the questions do cover quite a bit of um, the topics that are expected of you to know, and they do so in several different ways. So it covers topics all the way from ratio and proportion to TPNs, osmolarities, and um, milli equivalents. So, just to show you an example, if you look at the ratio, proportion, and dimensional analysis, you have untimed, level one, level two, and level three. When you click on the untimed, what actually does happen is it opens up a new page, and on this page, you have 20 questions. On the topic so the questions the number of questions in each category is going to be slightly different depending on the topic but at least you have 20 questions in there so when you click on start quiz for this particular topic um, you do see that you have 20 questions in there each question is a provide your own answer kind of um, setup which is very similar to what you will expect on the NAPLEX uh, it's no more multiple choice. You just put in your answer based on the um, question that has been given you. And so you can either go through the questions by clicking on the tab. And if you come across a question and you put in the answer, if the answer is correct, you can go ahead and check it and you it will see green and you see correct. All right. So this kind of setup, the one that is on time, is basically designed for you to work on accuracy. So it gives you time to work on the question, if you need to refer to additional resources like your lecture handouts or books, um, you could go through that to review the concepts. You could also use several of our free video tutorials on many of the topics that you will need to know for the NAPLEX. Um, so you can keep going through this one at a time at your own pace. If for some reason you do put in a wrong answer, um, it would show as um, incorrect and then you have this kind of reddish tab showing and then it will also give you the correct answer to that particular question. So you can go through this at your own pace every now and then you do see a multiple choice question but most of them actually the vast majority is um, short answer as you'd expect in the NAPLEX. Okay. So when you are done um, you can click on quiz summary and finish the quiz and once you do that you can also go ahead and view the questions so although it is on time it does tell you how long it took you to go through the entire um, question set also please notice that anytime you go through this particular untimed category each time the questions are randomized so you you would see those 20 questions but they will be presented to you in a randomized order each time you take the quiz. You also would be given the number of questions that you completed, how many points um, that you gained, and also um, 
what that is in terms of a percentage. So you can review all the questions by going through, seeing the ones you got wrong, using the answer. You could go back and work those questions to make sure that you could actually do it right. Um, so you can also restart the quiz when you are done. So you can go through all of this. And if you want to review it, I didn't talk about that, I'll show it in the next um, opportunity, is you could just click on the question and then say you come back um, to address it later on. And it'll be highlighted in yellow. So as you notice, um, if you, you see more, a lot more greens here, means you're doing quite well. Um, so that component is to allow you to work on your accuracy. That's for the untimed. The other thing that is pertinent is for you to be able to also work on your speed. You need accuracy and speed. So the way we've designed the question bank is you can systematically and gradually improve your speed by working on naplex level type questions um, which are timed but timed in such a way that you could gradually become more faster and faster each time you get to work on a problem so for level one you do have um, a bunch of questions in there um, here has 10 questions just for practice but then you have 40 minutes so this time the quiz is timed and what that means is each question gives you four minutes. So from untimed, which is just basically accuracy, now you have a scenario where you have 10 questions. It is timed. And also the expectation is you'll be done within the 40 minutes for these 10 questions. So four minutes per question really is not the target, but at least it gives you some psychological preparation in terms of how to deal with the clock. So you do see the time. Um, clock which is gradually going to decrease the blue bar um, also is going to be getting shorter and shorter with time um, so same thing you could put in your question these are all short answer and once again if your question is wrong um, this time you don't see it immediately until you are done with the entire quiz scenario so let's just say I wanted to do question three I'm going to um, come review it later it shows you in yellow and if each question you do answer is um, highlighted green. So I'm probably going to put in just some numbers so we can see how it looks like. And once you're done, you can click quiz summary, finish quiz. And it's going to let you once again know the time that you took, um, the points that you attained as a percentage as well. And then also some message that lets you know how well you're doing. So, um, it, this just lets you know that you're actually trying to get to the next level, which is level two and level three, which means that you're going to use less time for those questions. So just take a look at the view questions. Once again, you get the opportunity to go through them carefully and then also work on your speed. So for level one, the key thing is you have um, questions that are going to be completed in four minutes per question. For level two, Kind of like the same kind of scenario you do have questions that are presented to you but this time you have 2.5 minutes or two and a half minutes so most of the sections will have a lot more questions in there this is just to give you an example um, so here same thing you have the time it, it, it times you down for the 10 questions 25 minutes for 10 questions uh, your status bar is going to be decreasing with time and then once again, you can put in your answers and it doesn't give the answer right away. But once you're done, you can click quiz summary, finish the quiz, and then you can view your questions. Okay. So it just keeps letting you see how well you're doing and how quickly you're getting it done. And then the last um, section is um, the level three, which is where we actually feel it should be by the time you're taking the board exams. That's actually being able to complete a question um, regardless of the difficulty level in 90 seconds. That's one and a half minutes. So this is where we expect all of all students to be when we actually um, coach them that they should be able to do these type of NAPLEX like NAPLEX level questions in 90 minutes and 90 seconds. All right. So. 
you see the status bar with the time giving you 15 minutes for 10 questions same kind of scenario um, all these are short answer and then the only thing that is different is you have 90 seconds for each question so the goal then is for you to work on accuracy and then once you've have a strong command on the topic you begin to work on speed and it's done in such a way that you could do this at your own pace for accuracy but then do a number of rounds of practice with the timed um, quizzes to work on your speed the other thing that also um, is included in this particular question bank is once you've done all this and you've gone through each of the topics um, individually so they are organized individually so you can focus on a, a topic at a time if you wanted to but once you've completed all of that you also have three comprehensive practice tests and these are all level three kind of um, questions or quizzes where you have to solve each question in 90 seconds and so in these um, questions you have 40 questions to be completed in 60 minutes all right so this is kind of like comprehensive and the whole idea is to also not just give you additional practice or additional um, naplex type questions for the calculations in terms of practice but also to help you build the stamina you know you need the naplex is a six hour exam and you want to have the mental stamina to do all the calculations no matter how many are presented to you all right so um, here you have 60 seconds, the clock is counting down. Once again, the status bar is going to decrease with time. And then also you have these 40 questions. And this is the this is the um, series of comprehensive tests that you want to do once you feel comfortable that, hey, I know the material, but I need to work on my mental stamina as I get ready for the board exams. All right, so same thing you want to put in your answer. These are all... Um, short answer kind of scenarios you can also go back and click on review if you want to come back to it and also you can just go through all of these questions and this is um, you can have any question presented to you at any point in time so this this comprehensive test basically covers all of the topics that you expected to know for the NAPLEX exam all right, so the first series was separated by topic, but in the comprehensive test year, you basically um, get to experience what would be almost like a real life board exam scenario for the calculations. Okay, so that's um, basically what you would have in here for the NAPLES calculations question bank. You have uh, database of questions over a thousand questions that really designed in such a way that they prepare you for the board exams at least the calculations component of the board exams so that you can work on accuracy and then you can work on speed and also you can work on your mental stamina for the calculations so i hope you saw how beneficial the naplex calculations question bank resource can be for you and i hope you have fun using it in your preparations so as always i would like to thank you for watching this video all the best in your preparations and just let me know if you have any questions